What's up, everybody? Storm Regional Staffer here, Rick McCormick, talking today about the new Zen Soul from 900 Global. It's got the S77 Response Hybrid Reactive Cover Stock wrapped around that Meditate Core. This ball does come in a box at 4,000 grit, and I will be throwing two of these. One is going to be pinned down, as you see right here, and one of them will be pinned up, which will be later in the video. Um, I will be throwing these on the house shot here in Northwest Lanes, as well as the USB-C singles and doubles pattern from last year at Nationals. Um, so first of all, with the pin down layout, it's probably my favorite Zen Soul out of the two. Um, just being honest, it's more of a versatile motion for me. Um, the pin down balls, they allow me to play straighter angles through the front part of the lane. If I have to move a little bit left, I can. It's more of a smoother motion um, where I have to go around it, around the lane, I should say. Um, but the pin down layout actually allows me to play a little bit straighter angles through the front part of the lane. Um, recently had success on 34 feet with this Zen Soul. Um, kind of throwing them to the gutter where I finished sixth. And then also I bowled a house shot sweeper uh, back home this past Wednesday and averaged 250 when I threw it. So it's a great bowling ball. Um, the pin down allows me to give that versatile motion um, where the pin up balls, they read, they tend to read the lane a lot faster and be more forward. As you can see, this is the pin up uh, Zen Soul. Um, and that was, I think, the problem sometimes I had with my Zen Master. It was a little too forward off the spot. It's a good bowling ball, uh, but sometimes it was a little bit too forward where I needed a little bit more angle down lane. Um, and with this pinup Zen Soul, it kind of gives me that same Zen Master vibes. It's a, it's more continuous, um, but as you can see, it's more forward off that spot. Because of the pinup ball, it reads that friction so fast, um, and then it tends to go a little bit too forward. So right here, wrap 10, it went a little too forward instead of continuing. And then this shot right here, I'm gonna go ahead and messenger a 10 pin because it goes again a little bit too forward off the spot where it reminds me a lot of the uh, Zen Master kind of aspect. It's a little bit more continuous than the Zen Master. Uh, but I will be comparing it to the original Zen. Obviously the original Zen is a very angular bowling ball in everybody's hands in the Storm, Roto, and Niner Global family. Um, but as you can see right here, I go ahead and grab it a little bit, a big four. Immediately, I wanted to try to see what that Zen Soul did. So I grabbed that Zen Soul, threw it in that same spot. And as you can see, because it does go a little bit more forward, it still continues, but it blended out that back end. And I will be comparing these on the 41 foot uh, singles and doubles pattern. Uh, first up is the pin down Zen Soul, where um, I had to play a little bit shorter angles because of it being pinned down. It doesn't read the friction as fast. Um, and then the pin up Zen Soul, you will see here in the next shot. I did have to move a couple further left just because it reads that mid lane and it keeps going where the Zen Master would kind of be a little bit too forward. This one still is a good complement to the original Zen where it's more continuous, um, but it's a lot smoother than the original Zen. Special thanks to Kuik, Vice, Storm, and Bowler X. Head over to Kuik.com, StormBowling.com, and BowlerX.com for all your bowling needs.